The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at a couple of markets here today. Stan Harley is our guest. Uh, we're going to be looking here at the Treasury bonds. Uh, you can see here we've had a nice three-week rally here. We were down here at that 107 level. Uh, if you recall, that was right near our really big long-term projection, which was... 107. I think we can get this out of the way and see it. There it was right there, 107. Now we're having a rally. This is the weekly. If we go back here to the four hour, you can see what we're looking at right now. Now, why this is important today, folks, if we move this over just a little bit and go way back when, way back in August the 28th, if you remember, we had a big, I uh, forget what that uh, some type of a full moon. I don't remember which. It was a really big day. And you can see here we have made the 382 th retracement of that whole move here today, folks, at 112.22. Um, uh, and now uh, we're trading a little bit uh, lower than that right now. You'll notice that last night it looked like we had a beautiful ABCD here right at this level. We backed off and then we went right back up to get the bigger one. And um, that one I must take responsibility for because all I had to do was to look at this on the context of a daily chart, and it would have jumped out like a big bunny rabbit. You can see here, there's that 382. You can see the ABCD pattern here. And if you drew it in from that high from way back here on September the 29th, there's your A leg, B leg, C leg, and there it is exactly at the uh, 382 up in here that means we should start uh, you know to back off I know the news is great and wonderful and everything but that's the way it's supposed to be uh, when you're doing these things and the news comes out they get you to run to the wrong direction now let's take a look here at another one that I think we need to look at this is the high-grade bonds you know the junk bonds now look what's happened folks today we've had a low here come in here on the last week uh, we've had a nice a 10 day rally Look where it stopped, folks. It stopped exactly at the 3A2 of the high that it made way back here in December of last year. So that may be something very, very important. The fact that it hit that, it's been trading below it uh, all day, it opened up in there, and then it's backed off uh, a little bit. But let's take a look at the stock market, all right? Let's do it in the eyes of the old stop and pee and see what that one's doing, okay? Here's where we are. This is what's going on. What we're going to do now is we're going to go down to a four-hour chart just to see the numbers we were looking at for today. Bring, the, bring this up here. You can see here we had these moves coming off the bottom. I, let's go to the daily first. That's easy one to see. Get all this junk I got in there. It doesn't mean much, but let's take a look here. There was our 61% uh, retracement. There was the 1.618 expansion. That was just right off the bottom by about eight points. Well, look at the rally that we've had so far today, folks. Now, we've had a five-day rally here in the in the stock market, and a really big one. It's been a really strong rally. But let's take a look. The last time we had a strong rally like this was back here on October the 6th, okay? That was the start of the war, remember? And, of course, you know, wars don't always respond to stocks, but the market went that high, didn't it? So if you figured it came over here, and look what it's doing. It's doing the exact same thing right now as we speak here at uh, 43.24. What's also interesting, look how many days it took. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. One, two, three, four, five days so far, still rising. And if we look at the high that we made way back here and bring it down, you're going to see we're, we're almost, well, in fact, we are up at the, we're at the 382 retracement here. In about, uh, it, oh, right here, 24, I believe is the number. I think that's what I see here, 24. So this is equal to this. Okay, we're at the 382 retracement of the whole move. You're five days up, and I can't be a buyer there, folks. 
what's so sad, folks, and really, uh, you know, this is really frustrating to me because I spent so much time talking about the importance of this with our friend Shane Smolian and using the uh, the modified Bradley, which is some cycle stuff that sometimes works pretty good, and said this should be the bottom on the eclipse day here on the 27th, and uh, I, I, I messed up. And I, I'll go over it again because you learn from your mistakes, but here, here was my mistake right here. I said to the folks... Look, there was the bottom right here. I said, buy the first 382 retracement. There it was right there. That was the first 382 retracement, that one right there. This one didn't quite make it, but there it was right there. Not only that, this was an, this took several hours, I mean, almost a whole whole evening to get down to this level here at 4170, and now we're 150 points higher and still rising. So that's it. And you can see as we went up, I got too many lines on here. They're just they're just too hard to see. So we'll just get this out of the way here. But anyway, that's what's that's what's happened. It's a missed the move and you got to shake it off and move on to the next one. That's all you can do. And uh, unfortunately, you don't always get that. Let's take a look here at the Nasdaq. We're doing the same thing here. Oh, there's one other. I already did that. Uh, make sure I cover to show you the equal moves. Now here's our Nasdaq. Now it it bottomed two days before the eclipse. It bottomed on Wednesday. This was Friday. You can see right here, and then it had the rally up. Now look at the rallies that we've had, folks. You had a really strong rally right here. We're going to measure that rally from high to high, low to low, and here's where we are. We're almost right there right now. In other words, this is an equal rally to this one right here. Now. That doesn't mean it's not going to keep going higher, but that just says it's equal for now. But what's also interesting is if we look at this from a standpoint of possibly being a one three five pattern, just drawing this in right here, there's your one, there's your three, and there's your five. So you want to measure each ratio from high to low, and that one comes in here. It's a little above the – well, it's quite a bit above the 50%, and it is quite a bit – oh, we're almost at the – we're at the 618 right now. There it is right now in the uh, 9172. Actually, it's let's blow it up because it says like uh, the machine is different than the than the little handle here. Yeah, this is at 62. We're trading at 72, so we're 10 points above it right now here in the thing. In the S&P, the number is uh, 4324. Uh, I don't know where the last on the S&P was. It is 4325 right now. So that's in that same area that we're looking so let's uh, keep a close eye on that now the next one we want to take a look at is the dow jones industrial average and we'll get this up here i'm showing you these because we learned from learned from our mistakes but there was the there was the 78 percent retracement on friday you know right at right at the uh, lunar eclipse right here folks this was the bottom and you can see the rally that we've got going on right now it already has surpassed uh, the last rally that we've had, you see the last rally that we had went that far and we are above it right now. You can see we're above it by about 100 points. So it's, it's even stronger than the uh, S&P and also the NASDAQ. So anyway, let's uh, move on here. We got to pay a few bills and uh, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we want to take a look at crude oil right here because someone asked me to explain something that we were talking about yesterday. Uh, folks, when you have – this is like five days of crude. When you make lower lows, see, once you make a lower low than that, you have to recalculate the 382. In other words, as this low comes down, you have to recalculate the 382. That brought you to there. Then you came down. You had to recalculate it again. It came in right here. There was your 50%. You took out the previous day's high by one pip and didn't go any lower. That's a really strong sign. Then you made a lower low. Okay, so that's when you when you do that, you have to come in. And let's just clean everything out because this is, tells you the structure of the market, looking at it from the way we look at it, which is pattern recognition. So you make a new low and you come down and you're seeing where you are right now is at your 382 here of the uh, – crude oil you can see we're sitting right there 82.39 and if we look at it real closely and if we will and we'll do that here you're going to be seeing the old favorite that you usually stand by when you're watching these markets go up and down and there's your your ABCD measures to 82.60 82.39 is your uh 382, which we've hit, backed off a little bit. We're back there again. But that's how you're that's how you should be looking at crude oil right now because that is the low. There's the 382 coming back. And if it's any good, it's not going to get any higher than 8260. And if it does, you're going to be wrong. So that's neither here nor there. So not to worry about it. Let's take a quick look here at the soybean meal. It was another one that was uh, uh, relatively good to us this week. Remember on the daily, if you'll recall, we were watching this right up here, get up here so we could see it. There was your ABCD pattern right here. Now we haven't backed off very much. You can see here for five days now, this was Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Here's where we are right now. So it has not backed off very much. So we've got to get ready to possibly be a buyer of soybean meal. Now let's look at it real closely from the four hour chart. Okay, we can see it much clearer when we have that up. And there's where we are. And I've got this already drawn in. Hopefully, that's a terrible trading word. In other words, there's there's your low right here, and there's your high, and there is your 382. Folks, keep an eye on this one. I mean, you gotta pay, you gotta pay a close attention to this one. It's down about uh, nine bucks, nine hundred dollars from where we are right now. There's your ABCD leg. 
coming in right at the 3A2, and that's uh, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good action. Okay, let, let's play the devil's advocate. If this 3A2 is any good, all right. Now this is a four-hour chart. Okay, so a couple of days usually is uh, four hours. That's uh, 12, 12 of these in a half a day. Now look at you'll see you'll see here right here. You see this move right here. Now if this 3A2 is any good, let's just double check. We're going to take everything out, and we're going to see if this low now, – now, this was between the 13th and the 16th. So that was a three-day correction. Now, let's see if it was at the – Johnny, put the placard down, okay? I know you already did the work, but nobody else has. We just want to see it. And then you'll see we went to the exact 3A2. That's the mistake I made in the S&P on uh, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> Not quite that bad. Anyway, that's what you're watching here. Now, you had another run here. Now, I don't think that would be a 382, but if it were, this would also put a little bit of powerful. Uh, look at that. There it is again. Folks, there might be something to this darn thing. I don't know. That's what it looks like anyway. There's where we are. Okay. All right. Let's move on here. And someone wants to talk about uh, the euro, and then we'll do gold first here. Let's do the euro next, and then we'll do the gold. Stan Harley will be our – whoopsie, Daisy, what's happened here? Stan Harley will be our guest here at the break. Let's move this over here. He'll probably give – there's the euro. Now, we really would like to see – now, this is a four-hour chart on the euro, folks. This looks just like the bond the bond chart, only it's not as strong. You can see we haven't taken out the high here. But if you get a chance to sell the euro here at 107.3, uh, 107 that's the, the euro, not the, the, the currency. 107.3 is going to be a double A, B, C, D. There's the first one, one, two, A, B, C, D. Here's another one, A, B, C, D. And it's going to be sitting right at the 382 of, let's just go back and verify the high, because this was one that we want to be with. Oh, my goodness, this is the high. Back here, holy cow! We got to look at this on the daily, boys and girls. Hold on, we can't miss this one, because that's going to be an A B C. Oh, there it is. Hold on, we'll move this over. You see, we missed this by just a heartbeat. Now, what we've got to do is we got to go back here and verify. Trust but verify. That's what the technician tries to do. All right, we're going to move this out just a tiny bit, and we're going to move over from the high right back here. Down to the low, and we should get us right up there to that number we want to be looking at. And, oh, it's the other high. Hold on just a second. It's the secondary high, I believe. Yeah, that's the one we want to be watching is this high. So we got to clean this out. And there's your high down to your low. I just switched time frames. There it is right here at 107.30. That's where you want to be want to be selling. That's your 3A2 retracement. And that's a you know, that's an ABCD in a bear market. And that's what you got to be doing. You got to get ready to sell it. Now we've been selling it along the way here. Now we cover it. We we said to cover it before the Fed did anything because we had sold that high. If you remember back here, we were certainly uh, pumping the old uh, goose on this one here. And then we came down, and uh, you'll notice that the low that we made Fed time was probably spot on seven eight six. No, it's not. It's between the sixty one and the seventy eight uh, percent retrieval. And then we've had another rally. It looks like these rallies are almost identical, and they are. You can see they're just just nearly absolute perfect, you know, uh, harm, harmonic numbers, you know, rallying back here. So see another one right in here. There's another one here. There's your harmonic number in the euro right there. Just looking at it, you can see how it repeats over and over and over again. So this is what we want to be doing. But this is where we want to dance Right up here, 107.35, that's where you want to play the game. That would be another uh, extension of this last ABCD pattern right here. And there's where you would be going uh, right there. Okay, so that's the main thing that you want to be uh, watching. Okay, so I hope that helps. Now, we're going to have Stan Harley coming up here in a few minutes. But we had one other question about the old shiny metal, and we'll get this up here. Here's the gold market, and... Uh, having a little bit of a challenge here in the gold today. Here's our range over the last few days. Uh, what we were trying to do was to look for a 382 rally in here. Now, we did make new lows, so we got to mark that in. There's your high back here. So you made a new low, so your 382 would have come in 
right here at 94, and it went up exactly to the 50% level, which was you know 99. That's why your stop's got to be above that. That's only five dollars. You got to risk eight to eight to ten dollars in gold. You just have to because it's a uh, it's just that active. And if you notice from the high that it made yesterday after Fed time, from that high to that low came in uh, almost exactly at the 78%. That was within a dollar. And all it's done so far today is it's come down and made a 61% retracement of that whole range from yesterday, right to the tick. There it is. Stay tuned for Stan Harley, folks. 877-927-6648. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors Bull Bear Ratios, and the Trend Panic Levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <clears throat> okay, we're back, folks. I believe we have Stan Harley in the house. Stan, how are you doing today? Hello, Larry. I'm just doing awesome. Thank you. Well, you're looking awesome. That's a good thing. So tell us what you're looking at, my friend. You had a couple of great turn dates for us. One was October the 6th, right in the middle of the war. No one thought it could rally, but you did. That was a Lucas number, I believe, wasn't it? Yes. I had, okay. uh, uh, when, when, when we last spoke, I was looking for a, a couple of turns uh, near term. I was looking for one around October the 6th, a low. 
And then I thought we would see a second and final low in the November 1 time frame. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, here we are, November 2nd. Um, and I think that low uh, occurred on the 27th of October. You look, much, you look much better without a tie, I might add, my friend. <laughs> hey, tell us uh, tell us what are the dates coming up we've having some volatility here that people are shaking their heads about what do you think stan well let me just back up and kind of start with the big picture if i may please and uh and we'll work our way through the through the present time and a little bit shorter term time frame um this is a monthly chart of the s p 500 going back many years i've showed showed this with you on the air but i'm kind of rehashing it um from about 1960 to the year 2002-ish time frame, the dominant cycles okay. on the monthly chart uh, occurred at roughly four-year intervals. In fact, hey, it was 49.2 months. Yes, Stan, uh, they're not—they're saying they're not seeing you for some reason. Could you check your your uh, uh, stream, see if it's coming in correctly on Skype? Because they're saying they're not seeing you here, and uh, we like to look at your uh, oh my lovely gosh. profile. Well, darn, that's. I don't understand that. That is just strange. Hmm. Well, we'll keep playing, but it's called technical stuff, and, and my middle name is Difficulties. Ah. And I'll tell you, I have I have those. So I mean, it's just a I have my it's a bane of my existence, as they say. <laughs> well, okay. let's not let's not worry about it. Just talk to us, and we'll uh, we'll get these things out to the folks if they'd like to see them. So you'll send me a copy, okay? Um, absolutely. I'm surprised you. Are you able to call it up on your screen, by the way? I can I can see your lovely face with your uh, sweater and everything, but I cannot see any charts. So what you need to do is to share your screen on Skype to show the charts, and I think that'll do it. Yes. Um, I think you are exactly correct, and I think I found the problem. The problem is me. Nah. How is that? Does that come in clear now? Oh, okay. Yes, it's coming in perfectly now. I've got it now. We're looking at the S&P 500 monthly. Indeed. Yes. Thank you. Um, you know, I, I, I tend to make fewer and fewer mistakes in life, but it never goes to zero. And I'm working on that one. <laughs> <laughs> might, keep uh, in, might keep increasing exponentially. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, Stan. Um, this is the monthly chart uh, from about 1960 through 2002. The dominant lows came in every four years, 49.2 months. But then something interesting happened in 2002. Um, that cycle expanded by a Fibonacci 1.618. So from October of 2002 through the present, the dominant lows have been occurring not every four years, but they've been coming in just under seven years. 79.6, you can round it off to 80 months, uh, as you can see there on the chart. And uh, the last low in that cycle occurred in October of 2022. And my analysis suggests the next low should occur in May, June of 2029. Okay, that's, that's nice to know. That's interesting. That's way far out. What's probably of more greater interest to most of the viewers is, okay, well, when's the next high going to come in? Well, you know, I, I may have some answers for that one. Uh, so just kind of hold this in the back of your mind. Think about October 2002. And then we're going to then look forward in time from that date. And what I have found is all of the significant highs and lows spinning out from that October of 2002 can be defined by the major Fibonacci ratios. 0 0.236, 0 0.309, 618, 764, 809. All of the major turns can be defined by those ratios. And what I have is a cycle that spins out about 255 and a half months with a standard deviation, a very, very low standard deviation of 1.7 months, 1.75 months. So what that tells me is every significant turn uh, within a couple of months uh, has been spot on with respect to the Fibonacci ratios. And assuming the pattern continues, and I believe it will, it's pointing to the January 2024 time period for the next event. And I think it's going to be a high. In fact, I think it's going to be a major, major top that could stand for years. That's a hell of a prediction, young man. We're going to hold you to it. 
Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll just like the restaurant business. You're only uh, as good as your last yeah. meal. <laughs> and if it doesn't work out, I'm going to blame it on Larry Pesaveno. Uh, everybody else does. I think you have to stand in line with a big ticker tape with all the numbers. Are done. I think it's on 1,052 was the last number someone pulled off the off the counter. So uh, I like well, this chart. I just chart. pull the this stuff out of my rear end. Um, there's a lot of math that goes behind it. And I think I'm all serious. market cycles yeah. and highs and lows are governed by the Fibonacci-Lucas series and their ratios, something I spent a lifetime studying. Um, here is the weekly chart. We were looking at monthly, so here's the weekly and this is a repeat of what I've showed in the last several months. The dominant cycle on the weekly chart is 34 weeks, 33, 34 weeks, 34, of course, a Fibonacci number. That's equivalent to eight months, also Fibonacci number. And uh, I was suggesting the next low in that cycle would do, was due right in the vicinity of November 1, the last couple of times you and I spoke. And I believe it occurred on October 27th. And we're rocketing higher from here. And well, given my view that we're going up into January, Larry, what I'm ex this this is the back up the truck moment here, and I think we're we're going to experience a blow off top. That is to say, this thing is going to just astound everybody. You're going to see the financial media just can't believe it, can't explain it. Uh, interest rates high, whatever war in the Middle East, war in Ukraine, et cetera, et cetera. But I think equities are going to just rocket higher, and they're not going to give you and me and anyone else that's not in uh, a chance. <laughs> the pullbacks are going to be brief, and they're going to be bang, over in a heartbeat. And this thing is just going to go pop, pop, pop on the upside. We might get a little hesitation mid-month with the uh, congressional uh, issue with the, with the budget and so forth. But uh, – I think, generally speaking, this thing is just going to power higher, and it's going to be a, a, what I'm calling as a blow-off top in the January. It's got all the earmarks of it, my friend, that's for sure. Let's look at the daily data. Um, this is a continuation chart of what I've showed on the air with you here in, in the last several months. Dominant cycle, low to low, is 53 trading days, and that's related to the 80 trading day cycle I've also shown uh, on the air with you here. Um, those two are the dominant cycles that, that uh, govern the daily chart. They are related by the ratio of two to three or three to two, depending on which number you put in the numerator and denominator. Um, and uh, October 27th marked the latest occurrence in that cycle. Okay, so we're gonna take I a do, break. Let's take a break here. We'll, we'll be back we'll in three minutes, minutes okay? Visit. Stay tuned That's for the rest of Stan Harley, folks. Can't miss it. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. To Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, my friend. I like to hear this bullish scenario because it's certainly uh, unloading like that right now. So let's keep it moving. Absolutely. Um, here is, again, the chart of the 53 trading day cycle. And uh, what I've done here is I've taken the data and dumped it into a spreadsheet. And this is all the dates on the prior screen dumped into my spreadsheet. And then what I do is a mathematical process called regression analysis, which is a mathematical technique to find the best mathematical fit to the data series. And uh, when I crunch the numbers, lo and behold, it says, yes, indeed, the cycle length is 53 trading days, 52.958, with a very low standard deviation of uh, 2.175 trading days. So that's a very good cycle that has that low of a standard deviation. So file this date away in your mind, 16 January, 2024. What I think is gonna happen, ah. Larry, is that 53 day cycle uh, right here, which over the last several years has marked lows, I think it's gonna invert in January and mark a high. So the 16th of January? Yes. Can you be more specific? What time of the day will this happen? Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. And, what I, and, and, and this date's going to pop up all again, the time. by the way. So file that one away. Uh, um, actually, I'd be interested in, in your astronomical work uh, that that uh, might lend some additional insight into that I, time. I have, well. some, I have some insight. The 16th is very important because it's the day after the 15th, and it's a day before the 17th. So that's the importance that I can see okay. just by looking at the calendar here. You can see my sophisticated calendar. But, Stan, you can't knock these numbers that you give us. I mean, we have you on every couple of weeks, and you don't make these up. You're giving to them us ahead of time. So, I mean, anybody doesn't want to pay attention to that uh, January 16th. And, and I believe what I was looking at the other day is when I thought this thing would be rallying would be second week of January. So maybe that's going to be it. I don't know. I had to double check. But uh, it certainly looks that way. <laughs> well, um, we shall see. I've got some additional analysis that I think you'll find interesting as well. Here okay, is let's the go. daily chart going back several years. And uh, what I've done here is I have marked the major lows and the most recent high with Fibonacci ratios spinning out from the February 24th, 2022 primary cycle low. And... Very interestingly, uh, the analysis pointed to the October 27th time frame, as you can see, for the next recurrence in this data series. And in fact, that was the day of the low, October 27th. The analysis sure was, was, was uh, accompanied by a very, very low standard deviation under two trading days. Mm -hmm. uh, so looking at all of these lows on the chart, point 
3A2 aligned with the October low of last year, 0.618 aligned with the March low of this year. The 0.854 function aligned with the top we saw in uh, late July, early August. And uh, the analysis projected a low in the vicinity of October the 27th with a standard deviation of two, two trading. And that was indeed the low to the day. Wow, that's good. Uh, one other interesting chart. Uh, this is an index that not too many people follow, Larry. It's the New York Composite. Surprisingly, uh, even though it reflects all of the stocks on the New York Stock Exchange, very few analysts uh, refer to it. And on none of the financial media stations I track uh, is this even discussed. But uh, what I found here is an interesting cycle that's spinning out from the January 2016 major low. That was what I call one of the significant cycle bottoms in the 79.6 month cycle series. And very interestingly, look at the top here in the New York composite and this top and this top and just note how evenly spaced they are. And when I plug those dates into a spreadsheet and do a regression analysis, I come up with the next high over here due in the vicinity of January 16th. Well, that was the same day as the 53 trading day cycle that we talked about a few wow, sure was. slides ago. So what am I saying? Uh, I'm developing a body of evidence that presents the very compelling case for a significant high in January, middle of January, uh, plus or minus a few days, either side of that date. But that's something I'm, I'm going to be watching very, very carefully. And between now and then, I think this market is just going to rocket higher into what I'm going to call a blow off top in the making. It started that way. Uh, Stan, uh, the question I'd like to have, could you put on your calendar to uh, uh, be on our show on January the 16th? Absolutely. That sure. sounds good, you know, so because Perfect. I like to, you know, it's a, unfortunately I couldn't get you on on the 27th, but with an important date like that, we'll have you on again sometime in early January, but uh, but son of a gun, I mean, this is uh, this is really a big date, and we're looking at pretty much the same thing. So who knows? But it certainly exploded to the upside. Stop and think that you got a war going on, and on the bottom on October six, which was the uh, Lucas number, that's when the war started. That was uh, twenty some days ago, and now look at it. I mean, it just uh, that people don't even pay attention to the financial markets as it relates to the war, and I think that's been. Something I've been looking at for years that news doesn't mean anything. It's follow the charts. That's all I try to do. Uh, amen to that. Uh, I mean, it, it's horrible what's going on in the world. Yes, this is true. But, but in terms of being an investor or a trader, um, one needs to just look at the charts, do the analysis. Um, and, and if you can, kind of divorce yourself from all the external noise and just say, what are the charts telling me? Uh, yep. And what I try to do is, is get in and into the blades of grass and find the mathematical functions that define all the ups and downs, model them mathematically. And once I've modeled the past, then I can project into the future and, and develop, if I've got a confluence of different cycles and different Fibonacci and different Lucas numbers that all converge within a narrow window of time, then I look to that window of time and then look at indicators that assess some degree of overbought, oversold. And that helps me uh, in, in my own uh, trading and investing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, it's been really amazing. Stan, I got some information from Westlake Village yesterday. The house that I bought back in 66 for $33,000 just went on the market for $1.91 million. And Stan, that's a tract house. You know, that wasn't a custom built house. It was a nice lath and plaster house, but it was not custom built. But can you imagine that? I mean, since that 1965, just... that's 50, 60 years or so, 48 years. But I guess that's wow. uh, anyway, who knows? Anyway, let's keep on. Do you have anything else for, to show us or tell you know, us that, how we that, reach you? That, 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 that's all the charts I brought for today. Okay. Um, what the, my theme again here is I think we've seen an important low that occurred on October the 27th. And this market's going to power higher into January. And it's not if, if you're looking for a. A significant pullback uh, between now and then, I think you're going to be frustrated. It's not going to happen. You're pretty much going to have to just hold your nose and jump in the water. Um, it's a difficult and, thing for this old cowboy to do. Up and watch, <laughs> but I think it's going to be a major topic. Okay, buddy. Hey, thank you very much. We'll have you on again soon. 
Stan Harley, Stan Harley, folks. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm going to bring this chart up of the crude oil here because we were talking about going short here at 82.59, which we did. We're trading at 82.73, but putting the stop in, that's the key because we're setting right here. We're above the ABCD pattern with a 1.27 expansion. But what I do is I go to the last high down to the low and I put my stop in. There's your 1.618 expansion up into here. You see that? That's most probably where it might be going. But because that's that's a lot of money, folks, you're talking $500. When you're day trading something, $500 is a lot. You want to keep it to at least 30 points, okay? So if you sold it at 59, okay, and you add 30 to that, your stop is going to be 82.89. If it gets to 82.89, then you're going to have to take the $300 loss and move on. However, you can see here from the low we made earlier in the morning, we came up, pulled right back to the 382 retracement. There was this, the, the uh, 382. We pulled down to the 382. This took a whole hour to make that. So that tells us that there's a possibility we could be looking at another ABCD that's going to take us up to that up to the promised land up here at this uh, 8370 uh, level. Let's just draw that in, and you don't want to be standing in front of that. So what I would be doing now 
is, if there's where we're probably headed, folks, 83.37, another 60 points higher. So I'd have my stop here at 89. And also, if it backs off so that I could get out at uh, 82.60, I will take that and then not worry about this because I don't like the action, the fact that it's getting ready to go up here to uh, 83.37 uh, and it's close to the stop now. So I'd have to probably... Uh, get out of it. These are the kind of trades we're going to be doing on the 15th of November. Hopefully they'll all be good ones, but uh, you know that's not always the case, but we'll keep a close eye on these as we're watching them uh, unfold here each day. Remember folks, do something nice for your neighbors. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.